Uh, this is my video about the Mead ETX 125EC 4.5 inch 125mm um, motor drive fix. So uh, my motor that spins or turns the uh, mount, I suppose, counterclockwise or clockwise, uh, left and right, um, is fine. It was the up and down motor. And uh, that required a whole tear down defork uh, of it. However, the problem was, just really quick, the problem happened to be the ground wire on the motor, um, the little pin in the Molex connector was, n didn't have any continuity. So what I did was I clipped it off and I replaced it with a new Molex connector and re-soldered uh, the, some pins in there. Now, uh, you can take this off and you can see that it's just two pins right there. If you don't have Molex connectors, you could just simply solder these two wires on here. The bottom wire, sorry, this one here, uh, furthest to the edge is going to be your ground. So that's going to be where the black wire goes. And then your red wire is up top. Um, anyhow, uh, that was all it took. Unforking the telescope is probably the hardest part. All this other stuff coming out is not hard at all. Just a few bolts and it sort of slides out, falls apart. It's okay. It's a little scary, uh, but don't worry. Um, the hardest part was unforking it. And the only tip that I can give you is these little sections right here, they stick inside the tube assembly. And at the same time, there are two tabs that go in here. And if you have a buddy to help you, it's going to be a lot easier. Otherwise, what I did was I shoved a screwdriver in here to pry it loose and at the same time uh, just pulling down on this piece here. And here are these tabs that I'm talking about. These two tabs will stick up in here and they are stuck. Um, and there is little to no room to get this off. It's very, very difficult. Um, be careful, and if you can, get a friend to work with you on this, um, because you don't want to, you don't want to snap these tabs off. If you make it loose, then you you'll lose a lot of precision with this really, really good telescope. Uh, so just be careful. Um, but otherwise, um, unforking it is uh, it's a beast. Um, this is what you end up having inside uh, here's a bearing just just like a regular old skateboard wheel bearing here what you want to do is you can pull that off um, this little gear here you want the threads sorry you want the teeth <sighs> you want the teeth to have a little bit of grease on them but you don't want the sides of it to have grease you want this to be dry here and you want it to be dry on the bottom because that's going to make a good firm grip onto, right now it's not firm, right? You can spin it around. Um, but once you tighten this thing down, the bearing and everything will push against it. And these teeth will actually control the arm right here. This arm spins freely. Here's your motor arm. Um, pulling out all the gears was not that hard at all. Um, just, you know... Be mindful of these little guys here. They have some grease on them. Um, if you can, you know, t kind of, if it's been sitting uh, around for a while, maybe the grease is sort of pooled in one area of the teeth, if you can kind of spread that around. And every now and then, break out the telescope and drive them around. You know, move the telescope left and right, up and down, to get that gear oil uh, on these little tiny nylon gears. But don't, just be careful, because they have little axles in them and uh, their precision set. Um, I guess that's it, but uh, hope uh, this helps. Um, for me, it was just a simple continuity, uh, a simple wire that wasn't getting any, uh, any electricity. That was it. So hopefully your problem is easier than this.